Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the June Around About Kit from Studio Calico. And this is the eighth layout and it took me an hour and 13 minutes and I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I might be using. I took out um, template at Crafters Workshop and it just has different little borders and I wanted the star one. And I took out a Studio Calico template too and it's with stars. But I don't end up using that one. I took out uh, some thickers, some October afternoon, and these are just some of the scraps that I had sort of pre-made using the kit. And now I'm going to start working on the page. See my camera moved again because I had looked on my mat and it was supposed to be sitting from if you you can see the top there's from 6 to 18 but it looks now that it should be more at 5 so I'll have to have to adjust that because you won't see sort of like the right hand set right hand side of the page so I'm going to take uh, some pale tomato ink and I'm just going to ink up about, about three rows of the stars and I'm just going to make almost use it like it was maybe like a washi or something like that and just put a you know small row of them not the entire border but just to kind of make a place so that I can start building my um, embellishment clusters and of course I'm using my favorite ink pale tomato from hero arts and these pictures here were taken in Niagara Falls when my daughter had her competition and uh, we had one day that we kind of had to ourselves and we kind of went up and down uh, Clifton Hill and they tried different things. So this was um, Ripley's Believe It or Not. And so I got three pictures from while I was sitting there waiting for them to get out of their, you know, ride or whatever it was. And um, I don't know why... The picture was hanging over but um, it was so I just kind of took my ruler and kind of chopped it off with a craft knife and I don't usually glue down my pictures this early but I knew that I was just going to add uh, just strips of paper underneath so I kind of wanted to know wh exactly where they you know the pictures were going to be so that way I wouldn't have to keep um, they wouldn't keep moving around on me because it does get kind of annoying when they well, you know when the pictures move around so now I'm just going through the scraps that I had kind of basically I went through my scraps and just took everything that was kind of blue or pink aqua or pink and I just kind of put it aside because in those pictures there was a lot of blues and pinks so I just want to keep going with that theme. So I'm going to use my dotted scallop punch from EK Success. And it does have little dots on it, but if you don't push hard on it, the dots don't, they don't emboss. So then you just end up with this really nice scallop. So then I just did one scallop for underneath all the pictures. And now I'm just going to just cut a strip of that same paper just to kind of tie it so that it's above the photos also and I got my Stampin' Up! order and I ordered more of the that Coastal Cabana ribbon uh, my friend had given me some samples and they were just about all gone because <laughs> I love those ribbons so much so I've, I, I did end up ordering all the, the colors in the full roll because I know I'm going to be using them so now I'm just making sure that I have some of that um, cloud paper. Ooh, I couldn't think of the word cloud. Cloud paper and that pink chevron paper. And then I'm going to cut a little bit more of that aqua paper with the dots. And I'm going to cut some scallops and I'm going to put it in three clusters are the two remaining clusters and like I said wherever I put the stars is where I want it to make a cluster so I'm going to put a little bit of the pink a little bit of the clouds and some of that chevron 
And now I'm looking at the buttons that we got in this month's kit. And some of them had little flags, so I kind of took some out and set them on the page. And the one I just put down, it said admit one, so I thought it was, you know, really awesome for this page because they had to buy tickets to get in. So I'm just using my EK Success powder tool and it just takes, it has literally baby powder in the barrel of it. And when you um, use the Bristol, you know, the, the brush part of it on the stickers, it takes the stickiness away. Anyway, I thought my battery was full and it was not and the battery died. So I had to wait like three hours for it to you know, to charge up again. And I was so ready to scrapbook, but I had to, I went and cleaned instead <laughs> until the battery um, was done charging. And then I came back and finished my layout. So I took some of these thickers. They're called Alley. I really like them, but my only complaint about those stickers is they don't stay on the thicker sheet. Like as soon as you take them out, there's like, you know, 50 stickers thickers that fall off and while I was waiting I had just kind of went through my stuff to try to make the the process a little faster so I had taken out one of those um, insta polaroid the pink frame and um, I saw some of the clips that I had just bought the heart ones I'm going to be doing a haul here I'll probably upload it um, tonight maybe and I've been having trouble uploading stuff to YouTube. I don't know what's going on, but as soon as I go to upload, it says that it's going to take like 300 minutes, which would be retarded. I mean, that's, you know, like five hours <laughs> and there's no way um, I can let that happen because we're limited on our, um, the provider we have for the internet. They limit how much, how many gigs we have per month. So, and uh, that would just kill it in in one um, one upload not quite but you know what I mean it would be too much and um, so I'm going to try again tonight I've tried a few times and it was just too much so I'll try again tonight I got a few hauls that I got in the last few days and I'm really excited I'm anxious to try it out and remember when I'm going to be in between kits I'm going to be scrapping with things that are non-kit at least one page and now I also took out my October afternoon, the Sherbert and the October afternoon snow cone. And I'm just going to spell the name, you know, the title is the name of the place, Ripley's Believe It or Not. So that's the only thing that uh, I worked on right now. And then I found that blue chevron paper that I absolutely love. And I'm looking for my ATG gun and I can't find it. So I'm just going to use my this to that dot adhesive. I'm going to glue it on the page and then I just took my scissors and cut around it. And then I had gotten also a tag that I had taken out for last page and I didn't use it. And now I'm putting some score tape um, in behind the ribbon I find for me that's what seems to work the best if I use ATG you know three hours later I find that especially that ruffle ribbon it's moved but with score tape it seems to to stay and you can buy score tape just about anywhere like Simon says custom crops you can go on score pal and um, I've seen it pretty much everywhere a cherry on top I've seen it there and the, the size that I use was a quarter inch and I love score tape I have it in I have it in a six inch roll and that's for mini books I have two inch rolls I have half inch quarter inch an eighth of an inch and now I'm eyeing the three eighths because that be a nice size to have and now I'm working on that little cluster on the bottom so again I put a piece of the cloud um, chevron a scallop and now I'm putting a piece of that ribbon and then I think you know 
I haven't taken out my sewing machine for a while, so maybe I should take a jab at it again, because the last time I did, it gave me trouble. Well, today was no different. <laughs> it gave me trouble. So I think what I need to do, and I don't know if it's the silver thread that I'm using, because it's very, I don't know, it just seems that it, it breaks really easy. So I'm going to have to read my manuals guide for my sewing machine. I am not a sewer. I don't pretend to be a sewer. The only place I like to sew is on pages, but I'm even failing at that. So I need to, I need to practice. And I made a decision that the, in October, uh, for my Facebook challenge and the link is, is going to be in the description. That will be my challenge is, and to anyone that has, you know, sewing machines and they're just sitting there it's going to be to take out our sewing machines and use them on our pages so, okay i'm going to keep fussing with uh, the thread and trying to find different ways and the spool like the thread keeps ga gathering on the bottom so i even flipped it over to see if that would help and see how it's it's all tangled underneath and so at one point I'm going to flip it over and try that. There it is right there. So anyway, I'm, I'm really going to have to take out my manual and, you know, try and see um, what I'm doing wrong or maybe it's the thread. It's not thick enough. I, I have no idea. So I'm, I'm going to end up, it's going to work on, you know, I'm going to sew two of the areas that I had done the clusters the bottom right and the top left and then I try in the middle where my third cluster is and there was just no way like it just kept breaking and nothing so I just gave up and then just you know put my cluster there and just said forget about it <laughs> I I have a bigger sewing machine that you know I paid quite a bit more money for it this was like a hundred dollars at custom crops and I didn't mind if it didn't work perfectly you know like but you know at least that it would work but I, I don't think it's the sewing machine I think it's the user so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to to figure it out and and work with it a little bit more so again in October which is like next week or yes next week the challenge on my blog or my Facebook, sorry, not my blog, Nicole Jones 911 is going to be use sewing machines. So then I'll have a month to, you know, every layout, I'm going to take out my sewing machine and try to sew on my layout somewhere. So hopefully by the end of the month, I will be not a master, but <laughs> maybe I'll be able to use my sewing machine after that. So it's going to take me a few minutes to, you know, to try and get that done. The top and the cords on that sewing machine is not long at all. I have to put it right on the edge of my desk in order for the pedal to end up on the floor. I tried to do it with my hand, but then I can't hold the paper and hold my hand. So it has to go on the floor. I was thinking maybe I could get like some kind of little, I don't know, a little stool, you know, that maybe you can get that's only a few feet off the ground and then it wouldn't have to to go as far to touch because my don't forget I have a desk that I have to stand up so it's even worse it's even further to go down to the ground so I need something that I could put the pedal right there a little closer so I tried a few times like I said in the middle and no go so I'm just going to give up and start gluing down my embellishments and I'm going to put some foam tape and the foam tape I got at custom crops and I paid about 30 33 dollars or something like that but I did find it at scrapbooking warehouse and um, I've never ordered from there but I've had quite a few people leave comments and they said that they have and they love the service and how fast they ship and everything so I can't vouch for it myself but I've had quite a few people say that they uh, that they love shopping there so you might want to try them out because the 
foam tape there is $30 and now at custom crops I think the last time I checked it was $45 so it's quite a bit of difference so I'm going to work on that cluster for the title I guess part of the title and now I'm going to start gluing everything down and I like using my quick dry adhesive and I went to Michael's yesterday you know to um, to get some more because I just finished a bottle and I always like to you know I think I have four or five but I like to always not go down and they don't have them anymore again so as soon as I see them again I think I'm just gonna buy two or three because they they're not consistent whether they carry it or not so my title is just going to be Ripley's Believe It or Not and I didn't have an L like an uppercase L so I just took an I and then took a part of another letter and just cut it and made my own L and then those letters right there are Sherbert from October Afternoon and then the or oh now I'm going to glue down my um my paper clips and I just showed you the glue I used and it's from Beacon it's called quick grip and it really works well with metal the only thing you have to watch is that when you open the cap it oozes like bad <laughs> so you just don't be over your project when you open it because you're going to end up with globs of glue um, all over your pictures and everything and now I'm going to Put the end of my title in that little frame that I had put some of that blue chevron in behind and now I'm going to work on the bottom or the middle cluster I guess and one of the chipboard that came from this month's kit it just says I took actually a digital print that said picture perfect and then the little piece of chipboard says here there everywhere so I thought it went really well with that and then I'm going to take out some glimmer glaze just in the pink I'm just going to do one color and I'm going to sprinkle it around so if you want to see some still pictures you can join my Facebook group the link will be down below you can go to two peas in a bucket or studio calico and look in the members gallery under Nicole Jones 911 and I upload all my layouts there and I think I mentioned everything I wanted to mention today is Wednesday and it just seemed that it took me forever to get over that cold or flu or whatever I had and now I go back to work tomorrow so I'm hoping to get another page done tonight so it probably won't be uploaded what are we till Friday so that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye